Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how we can set up Azure AD single sign on for our users. So once we set up Azure AD single sign on for our users, the users will be able to log in automatically to the applications while they are on their corporate devices and connected to the corporate network. So as you know, now Microsoft Azure Active Directory have changed their name to Microsoft's Intra ID and they have changed some of view in their Intra ID portal. When seamless single sign on is enabled, users don't need to enter their password. Usually, sometimes they don't need to enter their email, they will be automatically logged in to Azure AD. When you have enabled single sign on, this allows your user to access cloud based applications without needing any on premise component. Before continue, make sure that you have installed Azure AD Connect tool on your Windows server. So, if you want to see how to install Azure AD Connect tool on your Windows server or Microsoft Intra Connect tool on your Windows server, you can see my video below given in the description. Here we have our Windows Server where we have installed Azure AD Connect tool. And please note that to perform this action, you must have access to your Windows Server as a global administrator as well as to your Azure Active Directory as a global administrator so that you can perform all of these actions. So first, uh, let's go to Azure AD that is Microsoft Intra ID and see the status of seamless single sign on. I have logged in in Azure using the URL portal.azure.com and now we want to go to Microsoft Intra ID. We can go from here as well. Let me show you Microsoft Intra ID. Let's open that. Scroll down. You will find here Azure AD Connect. The name changes to Microsoft Intra Connect. Open this. Now go to Connect Sync. Once we go to Connect Sync, we want to check the status of seamless single sign on that is disabled here. And we need it to be enabled. So now let's see how we can enable the status of seamless single sign on by going to our windows server domain controller now i am at the server let me open azure ad connect tool please note that here azure ad connect tool will ask you for server administrator password as well as your azure ad at global administrator password now let's go to change user sign in hit next this will ask you to enter the password of global administrator hybrid identity administrator credential for microsoft azure ad so we have to enter here uh, azure ad administrator username and password okay connecting to microsoft online for verifying connections password hair synchronization is selected and here we have the option enable single sign on that's what we want to enable it here so let's hit next it's asking me to enter the administrator credential here so that we can enable single sign on and please note that this will be domain administrator credentials at our on-premise server okay i have entered the credential hit next now it's checking for install component and asking me to start synchronization process so that it will this will get synced to the cloud enabling single sign on that's great the sign on method for azure active directory password hash synchronization okay now this could take few minutes to sync to the cloud so now let's go back to admin center interface and verify if single seamless single sign on is enabled or not. So usually it could take some time like few minutes to get it synchronized with the 
cloud so if it's yeah it's enabled now if you can see my screen seamless single sign on is enabled for one domain that is perfect the azure ad is seamless single sign on create an account on our windows server let's verify that in active directory and that account named will be azure ad s s o a c c so let's go and verify that and make sure you have protected that account right for security reason if you can see azure ad seamless single sign on connected azure ad sso a c c account in our active directory now we are 100 percent sure that we have successfully enabled seamless single sign on for our active directory but to apply this active directory to users or computers we require some work in group policy create group policy that is targeted to your users or your computers according to your need so in the next step we are going to create a group policy let's go to group policy management control and create a group policy let's go to group policy object and create a new group policy object with a meaningful name i want to name it seamless single sign on right click on the gpo and click add it now expand it first we are going to modify users intranet zone settings because by default every browser calculate the correct zone even its internet or the intranet the users configuration expand policies in policies expand administrative templates in administrative template expand windows component and then we will go to internet explorer here now we have to go to internet control panel so we can go to internet control panel uh, from this main container here as well so just for your understanding let's expand internet control panel and then go to security page so now once we are in security page of group policy management we are going to update the policy site to zone assignment list so let's open this once you have opened site to zone assignment list first go to enable it and then enter the zone assignments here it show in the value name we have to enter azure ad url and in the value we have to enter only one so make sure you have entered this url correctly to work everything fine you are also seeing this url on the screen of video let's hit okay then apply and then again okay so now we have successfully configured one of the policy and let's go to the second policy now that is intranet zone so now let's find allow automatic updates via script in the group policy so let's try to find that and change the filter that will get that policy for us at the top so we want this policy to be enabled allow updates to status bar via script let's open this policy enable it and here make sure you have also selected the enable option hit apply hit ok so let's close this seamless group policy as we have set up our required 
things here so let's say i need this seamless single sign on feature for all of my users so i can link it at the top of my group policy so once you have applied group policies to the users and configure everything that i showed in the video let's test it in the uh, let's test it in windows 10 as i'm logged in with the domain user over this laptop and let's open up this browser and go to myapps.microsoft.com so this should log me in without entering any password or any other credentials username or password as we have configured seamless single sign on let's go to sign in I think I have typed wrongly here my application dot Microsoft dot com yeah it's now trying me to sign in it's signing me in without any username and password and it's showing all my apps here on the apps dashboard that's perfect so now we have achieved the goal of setting up seamless single sign on that sign in a user automatically so as you have seen user is logged in automatically without entering any username and password and we achieve our goal by setting up this test environment that's it about today's quality video i hope you enjoyed and learned seamless single sign on setup and deployment thanks for watching Keep watching, keep sharing, bye.